Welcome to Informative Zone. A lot of families out there want to get a dog. Pets are popular for families and they can have some great benefits for the entire family. However, it can be hard to make sure you pick the right pet for your family, and if you have decided that a dog is right for you, then comes the research on which kind of dog breed you should welcome into your home. There are countless notes about what some of the best dog breeds are for family, but we have compiled a list of the 10 worst dog breeds that families are going to want to avoid. Number 10. Why Minor? According to the Spruce Pets, any dog has the ability to not be good around small children, but there are some breeds that are known for not handling children well. The Weimaraner is a beautiful dog, but they are bred to hunt game and they can often confuse children with what they are supposed to be hunting. This means that they are known for playing rough with the humans in their life. Number 9. Chihuahua. Chihuahuas may be cute and small, but they are not going to the best pals to children. Since they are so small, they make up for that with their mouth and teeth. They are known for barking and biting if they feel like they are being threatened. They also love their personal space and would not appreciate a child trying to get into it. Number 8. Akita. Akitas are known for being incredibly sweet and loyal, but their breed has been bred to be guard dogs and they still have that instinct. While this breed may be fine and playful with your children, if your children have friends come over for a play date, it may feel like it needs to protect your child and things could get dangerous for the other children around, especially if the children are playing rough. Number 7. Pekingese. A Pekingese is another small breed that does not do well with children, especially young children. If your child is much older, this may be the breed for you, but this dog will not take prodding, poking, and pulling well, and if a child does not understand how to respect a dog's boundaries, this will not be a good match. Number 6. Rottweiler. A Rottweiler is an incredibly popular and common dog for families to own, and while they can be great companions, and they are playful, they may not be best for families with children. This breed comes in second to the people for causing human fatality, and their temperament has been known to change in seconds and with little warning. Number 5. Siberian Husky. You may be surprised at this entry, and that is because this dog is not necessarily bad for children, but children may be bad for it. The Siberian Husky requires a lot of care and time spent running around and exercising. Families that have small children may not be able to dedicate the time they need to in order to make sure this dog has everything it needs to thrive. Number 4. Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute is another popular dog because it is so beautiful, but it poses a couple of problems for a family with children. This dog sheds a lot and this could cause issues with children who may have allergies. It also requires a lot of exercises and this breed has been known to run away from home if they do not get the exercise they need. Number 3. Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard is one of the most beautiful dogs on the planet, but it is huge. Its size is one of the reasons why this may not be the best dog for family. The cost to feed these dogs is a lot, and that is something that parents need to take into consideration. It is also quite large, and not known as being the smartest dog, so there could be incidents where the dog may think your child is a chair. Number 2. Dalmatian. Dalmatians are particularly popular among families and that could be due to the popular, Disney movie on them, but they are not the best dogs for children. This dog has been named as high-strung with a bit of an attitude problem. If they do not get the exercise and attention they need, they are known to become mean and destructive. Number 1. Cane Corso. The Cane Corso is not one of the most popular dog breeds around, and this may be because it is not good for family. This dog has some major trust issues, and it can be hard to properly train them. They also need constant supervision, something that may be hard for a parent to do who also has to watch the children. The dog is also known to be naturally aggressive, which should make it a quick no right away.